Welcome to Life as Usual, a video blog dedicated to making you a more impactful leader through the ideas of self-awareness, execution, and direction. And today, we're going to talk about a topic that's very near to me, and that's depression and how it affects you as a leader. The reason why I say this is really near and dear to me is that I suffer from depression and it affects the way I see things, it affects the way I move forward and it affects the way I can behave to the people and teams around me. The thing that I've learned through my travels with people and talking to other leaders is that depression isn't something that's rare. It's depression is something that most of us suffer from in some way, shape, or form. What's interesting about it is most of the people that suffer from it think they're the only ones. And I'm here to tell you that you're not. Depression is something that affects many of us. Many of us in this tribe, many of the leaders that you see at work, many of the leaders you see all around the world. So I've been dealing with depression for most of my life. And as a result, when I'm in a depressive state, I see connections to things. Now, in one sense, this is negative. It makes me more paranoid and sensitive. But in another sense, it makes me more creative. And I'm able to see these connections to people and ideas. And I'm able to connect those things and, and, and make new ideas. Um, some of my best ideas have come when I'm in the middle of a depressive state. A side effect to making all those connections is I'm very fatigued. My brain is working in overdrive. And I just feel out of it. From that fatigue, I get irritable. And when I get irritable, I'm more shut off to people, which makes people feel a certain way. And when those people feel a certain way, they may or may not say things about it, which fuels my paranoia and it becomes a cycle. Sometimes that leaves me distracted. And I seem like I'm out of place. And maybe it's just me trying to recover, but like I'm, I'm just kind of out of it for um, a reasonable chunk of time. It's rough. And I think if you're watching this video, you might be experiencing the same things. Again, it's okay. It's a part of you. And like your arms and legs and your last idea or your startup, or it's something that should be managed and understood, not pushed away. How do you deal with depression? I, I think there's a lot of ways to deal with it. Um, some of the healthier ways of dealing with it is going to go talk to somebody you trust that's trained in dealing with these emotions. So talking to a therapist or uh, maybe a clergy member or somebody that a mediator, or maybe even a lawyer that's a friend of yours, uh, somebody that's trained in pulling the objective from the subjective and someone you trust enough to be honest with. Um, I think exercise is a good thing. I've recently upped my exercise habit and it's helped me tremendously. It's been really good to pull my emotions out and help me get to a more, um, it helps me get to a more objective place with what I'm doing. Eating better also helps. Like the more you eat junk food, it doesn't do good for your brain. Like sugar is not good. Um, the goal is not to push away depression. I think it's to recognize it's a part of you. How does depression affect my work? Depression affects my work by helping me see connections. Sometimes those connections are good and sometimes those connections are bad. So I get more strategic when I am depressed. Sometimes that is good strategy and sometimes it's bad strategy, but I am always thinking in structures. So. I look at it as a form of how I think. So it could be a good thing, it could be a bad thing, but it's just me. Um, it may affect other people in different ways, but generally it makes my work a little more strategic. It's a little slower because I'm a little more tired, a little more low energy, but um, yeah, depression just kind of changes the way I see the world. Why do people ignore it? People ignore it because they think no one else is suffering in that way. 
And while they may be right that no one else is suffering directly in the way that they're suffering, there are a lot more people that feel these feelings of depression and a lot more people that have their work affected by it. You're not alone when you deal with this. And the reason why people ignore it is because they think they are. So how do you look at this through the frame of self-awareness, execution, and direction? Well, this one's a lot more simple. Self-awareness. You should be aware that depression affects many of us. You, it's not just you. It's your brother, it's your sister, it's your family, it's, it's your, somebody you work with, it's somebody in your community. You're not alone. And if you know somebody that's suffering from depression, you don't have to be weirded out by them. A lot of times they just feel alone and all they want is somebody to be able to listen to them and not treat them as if they're some sort of sick person. Just spend time connecting with them and connecting with the people around you. We're here for you. Execution. Go find help and do it. Do it regularly. Even if you're feeling good right now and you're not feeling, if you know that these are symptoms that come back and up and around, go seek help. Go talk to a therapist. What most people don't know is if you have health insurance, more than likely, mental health is covered in some way, shape, or form by that insurance, and it's surprisingly affordable. Take advantage of that. Go find a therapist. Go find one you like and start having those conversations. Direction. Once you understand with your therapist some of the things that you do and you start building some strategies to adjust yourself, share that with your people around you. Share that with your family and close friends and maybe a few people on your team that you trust. Letting them know how you react and also showing them that you have some strategies around it to help them feel engaged will make sure they feel like they can be a part of the solution and not avoid you. So let's wrap this up. We should be self-aware that depression isn't something that affects one or two people, it affects many of us. And we're here for you. Execute. Find somebody to talk to. Create strategies around managing your depression. And direction, once you have some of those strategies, share that with your close people around you so that you can use them in order to be better. Remember, Depression is real, and it can affect creative people particularly harsh. Go get help if you need it. If you look in the description box, you'll find a couple of books that help me dive deep into emotional intelligence. They've had exercises, research, and deep dives that help me bring these concepts to you. This isn't a one-way conversation, and in fact, it's not a two-way either. We're part of a community, the Life as Usual community. And as leaders, especially creative leaders, emotional intelligence is something that we all need to get better at. We can reach out to each other through the comments section, through sharing this video, through liking it, and help each other talk about, build upon, and explore these concepts in these videos. Remember, I'm not just a teacher, I'm a student as well. Help me learn your perspective.